such a time as this. And welcome back to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing as a silent witness. The Black Lives Matter movement, many people are saying that it has nothing to do with black lives, that somehow black lives matter is for the the, the, the betterment of all men and women, and that black lives is just a, a mantra in which all the oppressed need to rise up. That's why you see whites marching with Black Lives Matters, because they want to make sure that all the oppressed people, right now it's the black people being oppressed, but the black people being oppressed is emblematic of all the people in all the world. And so that the oppressed from the white, the evil white people in America, the oppressed, because you know, white people from Europe have oppressed people. So we need to, to, to show the oppressors, the white people, that they can't oppress anymore. So now comes this story about oppression, not in Europe, but in China. And what connections, you say, Pastor, what connections could oppression in Far East Asia have to do with the great Black Lives Matters movement? Listen to Tucker. Not covered much in the American media. Ned Ryan has paid close attention to it, though. He's CEO of American Majority. We're happy to have him on tonight. Ned, thanks so much for coming on. So I just want to be thanks sure we're not overstating the case here, but it, is it established, do you believe, that slave labor, political prisoners, ethnic minorities in China, their labor benefits American companies? Oh, there's a study out of Australia from this spring that actually Forbes covered, Tucker, that showed that these woke corporations like Nike, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, uh, and I posted this at the top of my Twitter feed. If you want to read all 83 corporations that are involved in slave labor in China, they're benefiting off of it. And then to add to that irony, Tucker, they're then taking that money and funding to the tune of now estimated upwards to two, $2.7 the Black Lives Matter global network. So these social justice networks that decry racism in America and say America was founded on slavery are actually getting funding from the corporations that originated with slavery. And we know why the corporations are doing this, Tucker. We know why they're paying off billions in indulgences uh, of racialized political payoffs, because they don't want to have to talk about what they are doing right now, what they say they deplore. Right. And the amazing part is they are, they are literally abusing the weakest of the weak, and they're doing it in Asia. We all know why. Because they don't want to have to pay real wages to American workers. So I will say this, they can posture all they want to at home, but a lot of these corporations are the equivalent of modern day slavers. And I will also say this, Tucker, making goods and products off of slave labor is not capitalism, and it's certainly un-American. It's totally immoral, and yet our time is occupied with these pointless debates over historical figures who died 150 years ago. And at the same time, this is going on. Really? Really? You know, I actually went to his Twitter page, AmericanMajority.org. I'm sorry, that's his, that's his page, AmericanMajority.org, but you can get there from the Twitter view. Let me, let me read. Now, this is reporting from, from them. It's there on the site, American Majority. They're not hiding. They've got their stuff out there. They've got their... Their, their research, it's up there. Uh, they're quoting Australia Strat Strategic Policy Institute, the study. Uh, he said is in Forbes. Let me just read, again, what they're reporting. Abercrom Abercrombie & Fitch, Adidas, Amazon, Apple, BMW, Bosch, Kelvin Klein. Ooh, what else? I'm not going to go all of them. Uh, Dell, uh, Fila. They're still making shoes? Uh, okay, I didn't know that. Gap. General Motors, Google, uh, wow, HP, Jaguar, Land Rover, uh, what else? Microsoft, Mitsubishi, and of course, of course, 
the king of all social woke corporations, Nike. Nike, you know, you know, the one that wants to put up Colin Kaepernick. And you know, the most sensitive and most woke company of all, Nike. They are profiting off the slave labor in China. Do you remember that video? You saw you saw the video that all these people were being rounded up uh, with uh, scoffs on their eyes, blindfolded, being marched into trains. And, and on the news station, they're asking the, the Chinese ambassador, what the heck is going on? It seems like you are funneling people into trains, going off to concentration camps where they make the Nike shoes and other stuff. And a Chinese ambassador couldn't answer couldn't answer. Yet Nike, Amazon, and all these other people want to stick their finger in your face and tell you if you're white, you are racist, and you are the oppressor, white person, and that Black Lives Matters and the great evil white European man this is just rich Nike, Nintendo, uh, Panasonic, Puma, some more shoes, Samsung, Sony, Toshiba, Volkswagen. That they're all profiting off of slave labor, slave labor. And then they take that money and guess who they funnel it to? Black Lives Matter. The great uh, 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 emancipators of oppression. Boy, you couldn't make this stuff up. You, you, you couldn't make it up. Can, you can't, can't make it up. Can't make it up. Which again leads us to what many are saying and have said, that Black Lives Matters has nothing to do with Black Lives. Such a time as this, 